Welcome back or welcome if you're a new viewer. Today you're going to see Fairy going to Dog Agility and wearing her GoPro camera. You can see she's all set up with her harness and her GoPro mount. Dog Agility doesn't run over December and January so today is the first session back after about a six week break for Fairy. It was a really cold, frosty morning this morning and I wanted to make sure Fairy was very well warmed up before we started agility. So we went for about a half an hour walk on our way, the long way round to get to dog agility. Fairy carried her squeaky toy with her. We're lucky to have Essex Flyers Dog Agility with their course, which is just down the end of our road. It's a five minute walk to get there. Whilst we were waiting for our session to start, Fairy laid down as she doesn't like to stand up for too long. Fairy has got lots of friends, doggy friends in her dog agility group who she knows really well and gets on well with and she loves to socialise with them every Saturday. There's a variety of different breeds of dog in our class and we're all here just to have fun. We don't take it too seriously. It gives the dogs something different to do something to stimulate their minds. It just adds a bit of variety to their lives. The dogs all started off a bit rusty today because they'd had a break over Christmas. So it took a while to get back into the swing of things and for the handlers to remember where they were going to and all the different manoeuvres that we have to do. Fairy wasn't too keen on going up the dog walk the first time we attempted it today, but with some bribery, with lots of chicken, she soon went over. She has no problem with this A-frame. She loves going up and down the A-frame. The weaving is quite tricky for Fairy being so long in the body, but she's really getting the hang of it now. I think it's good for suppling um, and stretching her back muscles, keeps her nice and loose. Fairy loves doing the jumps. I think they're her favourite. She really, she's very athletic, so she finds them easy. Um, the tunnel, we've been working for about a year on her going through a small tunnel, which wasn't out today. This long blue tunnel is very dark inside. And Fairy doesn't like this one, but she has gone through um, an exact same tunnel in yellow, which lets the light through. Um, today we just worked on her putting her front paws into the tunnel that was enough for today when we first started agility I said there's no way she'll fit in that tunnel but actually she does fit she can crouch down and crawl along it quite easily here we've got some fairy cam shots with the GoPro mounted on her back so you can see fairy's eye view of what it looks like for her as she goes around the course. This is reward based training. So I have a pouch full of chicken and give her lots of chicken after each obstacle to praise her and reward her. When the dogs come off this dog walk, their feet have to touch the beige area at the bottom of the plank. If they jump over it, they get penalized. So if you put chicken on the floor, they put their head down to get it and they don't jump off the end. We're not doing this competitively. We'll never do any dog agility competitions, but we do do it in the correct way when we're training. As you can see, there's a high metal fence all around the edge of the arena. So when I do let Fairy off the lead, I know that it's secure and she can't run off. We have different voice commands for different obstacles and we say walk for the dog walk, which is this plank. Come on. Okay. Come on. 
Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. She seems to be a lot more confident with it now. Good girl. Good girl. That was really better. The dogs go one at a time and take it in turns. So there's lots of stops for breaks in between each of their rounds where they're offered water. Good girl. Good girl, come on. Good girl. Up. 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 Well done. Good better. Good girl. Good, good girl. I remembered that time. We had got to the point last year where Fairy was doing a series of three or four obstacles, off lead and staying with me. Since we've had a break over Christmas, we've gone straight back to on the lead until she gets the hang of it again and remembers what she's doing. And then in the next few weeks, once she's happy again and knows what she's doing, we'll start doing little bits and bobs off the lead. Everything very, very gradual with Fairy, making sure we don't rush her. These sessions last for an hour and in that hour we each get to go around the course usually three or four times with rests in between for the dogs to have a break and a drink. At the moment with the weather being so cold Fairy does the agility class wearing two coats to keep her nice and warm, keep her muscles warm. In the summer we missed a lot of classes because it was just too hot for her and I won't bring her when it's over 20 degrees. When we got home from Dog Agility, Fairy was exhausted. She got straight up on the sofa under her favourite furry blanket and had a lovely sleep. Thank you for watching and thanks to all our subscribers Thank you to those who are liking and commenting on our videos. Hope you've enjoyed this one and here's a few more that you might like to watch next.